Uh, this is a typical performance on 100 meters. Today we are showing in a bit more details our horns. Hello colleagues. Uh, today we are happily presenting more details about our, our horns. So horns is effectively an extension uh, to a super beacon or uh, industrial RX or industrial super beacon or even a uh, mini RX outdoor. Horns with external microphone uh, allowing to extend the range of 1D measurements from typical up to 50 meters from beacon to beacon to up to 100 meters with a single RX horn to up to 150 meters when I have a horn on the receiving part and on the transmission part. Effectively, this solution is an, an, an alternative to laser distance meters uh, when lasers cannot be used. For example, fog, dust, uh, leaves uh, that prevent direct line of sight for light, but still allowing direct line of hearing for ultrasound. Or an alternative to RTK GPS. For example, when you are underground or under the bridge or uh, just you know, for some reason, RTK GPS is not a, a feasible solution. Another nice element of the solution is that you can track or measure the distance simultaneously to multiple beacons. So you have one receiver with a horn up to 20, 30, even 40 degrees uh, beam, and you can install multiple transmitting beacons. You effectively attach them, simply attach them to the target. You don't need precisely find, you know, spot of the laser meter, which is very, very cumbersome, or you don't need to use expensive RTK GPS. You effectively put their beacon, the horn on a tripod or similar, connect to your laptop or even connect to a tablet using Bluetooth, attach this to your target distances and measure right away in a matter of seconds. The update rate is 3 to 16 Hz, depending on the distance. You have multiple trackers, multiple mobile beacons, as mentioned, and you can have, uh, have this data via various interfaces, from UART to a virtual UART over USB, RS485, Bluetooth, and multiple other options. So you have the same super beacon as usually in outdoor configuration because you are outdoor uh, as receiving part, horn, and regular super beacons outdoor as transmitting beacons. Uh, this is a typical performance on 100 meters. So as you can see, uh, this is their, what uh, the oscilloscope sees and what the system says. Uh, this is the real measure, measured distance, and this is the filter, uh, and you can monitor uh, when there's a jump or something, so the, fil the system filters out uh, this information. So this is the distance, and this is the setup. Uh, typical super beacon with external microphone and horn, and uh, the transmitting beacon is over there in 103 meters. Uh, you can have several of, uh, of the system, uh, of these TX beacons and uh, you can measure all of them at the same time and the greatest benefit that you don't need really to spend you know time on, on the light trying to find uh, the location to find the spot of your laser distance meter for example you can you know attach even to a moving object and measure uh, this uh, distance is very very precisely with up to uh, 100 meters distance uh, 100 meter distance is supported with super beacon and only receiving horn. If you have a transmitting horn, then you can uh, get up to 150 meters. Uh, today we are showing in a bit more details our horns. So horns uh, is basically an option or extension for uh, various types of beacons. Uh, first of all, it's designed for super beacons because it's so easy to connect them. As you know, uh, super beacons, they have external additional 4x4 pins. Uh, please check the operating manual for more details, what's there. Um, but among other uh, 
connections, it's a connection for the external microphones. So in this configuration, only one microphone is connected, uh, but theoretically you can connect three additional microphones on top of the embedded microphone. So let's use it and let's check it. So the horn, horn is uh, basically a plastic horn that uh, you know accumulate the acoustic waves and thus extending the range. Uh, typical performance of uh, super beacons in this configuration is uh, 30 meters. It's what we guarantee. Uh, in practice, in um, let's say noiseless conditions or low noise conditions, the range can be up to 50 meters. So we all the time measure them in the lap on 50 meters. Uh, particularly good are the frequencies uh, which are 19 and 25 kilohertz because the attenuation of ultrasound waves on low frequencies uh, is lower than attenuation on the higher frequencies. So today we will be talking either about 25 kilohertz super beacons or uh, 19 kilohertz super beacons which are, which are even better in terms of uh, absolute distance and absolute range. Uh, so this is why, as a receiving part, it can be any super beacon, because you can digitally select the filter 19, 25, 31, up to you. But as a transmitting part, uh, we recommend low uh, frequency uh, super beacons. It can be 19 or 25, as said. So uh, how does it work? Well, first of all, you can measure as usually, but the maximum distance in reality would be up to 50 meters. Uh, with uh, this connection, with, with this kind of, and as you know, there are, uh, you know, low angle to the microphones, it would limit to about 30 meters. So let's return back only to ideal face-to-face uh, -face connection. Uh, but sometimes when you want, uh, you know, tr to track or to measure distances more than uh, typical 30 or 40 or uh, 50 meters, uh, 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 horn, is a very good solution. So what you do, you basically connect it either like this, or we uh, sometimes supply it with just bare cable and you can solder. On the board, there are special pins, you can solder directly to the board and connect. For example, this uh, option we are using when we are supplying uh, IP67 version, or let's say outdoor protect version of uh, uh, super beacons. And by the way, in this same way, we can supply not only super beacons, but industrial beacons and mini RX as well. So it's possible uh, to solder. But super beacons are easier because you can connect uh, just by four by four external pins. And then what? And then you install this on the tripod and this super beacon is installed on another tripod on the distances up to 100 meters. On, uh, in the configurations which including uh, horn on the receiving part and on the transmitting part, this is still receiving part, but very similar is on transmitting part, the distances can be up to 150 meters. Where is it used? Well, first of all, it is used um, when you want to measure 1D and for some reason you cannot use the laser distance meter. Now, for example, behind the leaves, ultrasound goes, uh, through the leaves, but you know, laser obviously doesn't. Or when, for example, RTK GPS is not available because of high uh, building um, under the bridges or, um, uh, for example, underground or inside the buildings where uh, the majority of mile mind systems are installed. So uh, Horn is a very nice, very solid solution and you would be able to see um, the live performance that we shot and to 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 show how how well it works and of course remember that uh, this is acoustic based system so uh, their real absolute uh, distances depend on the uh, properties of uh, of the air now first of all it's temperature uh, but not only it's also pressure and moisture so it means that ideally without any calibration you can put the beacons and start measuring the change of the distance. Without the calibration, the absolute error can be up to 1, 3%. Uh, but you can easily cancel even their, that error by calibration. Calibration is super simple. So you install their beacons on a particular uh, distance, oh, for example, 10 meters or 20 meters. You know uh, this measure uh, distance precisely, you measure it, 
from where? Uh, in this case, it would be from this point because this would be the receiving point, not this one, this one. Uh, but the transmitting point would be about one centimeter inside their transmitting beacon. Uh, so you measure this, and for example, instead of 10 meters, our system is showing 10 meters and 10 centimeters. That's fine. Then you go to the settings, uh, modem settings, and change the temperature. There is a you know external uh, air temperature uh, in the dashboard, and you change it from default 23 uh, centigrade uh, to let's say 22, and then it goes down, and then you say 10. Okay, now 10 zero zero. It's calibrated. As soon as it's calibrated, now you are able to measure the absolute uh, distance with high precision. Uh, of course, it stays there uh, until their conditions change. So it means that uh, the temperature doesn't change and uh, uh, the pressure doesn't change. So effectively, you have you know, some time before this because it changed quite uh, slowly. Uh, another element which you need to remember uh, is acoustic noise. So this is why when you have a high acoustic noise, which may go to ultrasound, then of course the measurement will fluctuate more, but there is averaging. And by increasing the averaging, you will increase the latency of the measurement, but usually it's not important when you are measuring 1D and the object is not moving. Uh, and you will have higher accuracy, at the same time um, higher tolerance to the external noise. Or you can uh basically wait uh, until the noise you know goes down and uh, during this time you can measure because the system allows a uh, very clear view on the measurements and uh, on the noise using for example embedded oscilloscope so summing up a horn is an optional and external element for uh, multiple beacons industrial super beacon industrial rx and of course super beacon this is, is to use the super beacon because you can connect without any soldering and you can extend your uh, range up to 100 meters with rx horn only or 150 meters to rx plus tx horn thank you very much